And um, like you mentioned before, Reanimator 4. Um, what is that all about? Can you tell us more about that? Well, you know, it's funny because I have, um, <laughs> I, I, I developed so many Reanimator projects. I don't know why I haven't been able to make them. I'll tell you, you would think, right? You'd think, wow, it's, this is a kind of a franchise or something. Yeah. Well, the reason there hasn't been a lot of reanimators is because I own the property. And there's not many, not many horror properties of much value that are actually owned not by a company. Uh, reanimator is one. The other one would be Phantasm, <laughs> which has never been has never been owned by a big company. So if a big company owned reanimator it would have been sequel to death long ago yeah <laughs> say the howling right the howling oh yeah whatever, you know um children of the corn so, yeah yeah and once the company has it they can just they churn it but of course when you have someone like me to whom it's all very personal and you know like your little baby or something <laughs> and plus i'm trying to you know, I don't want to do something that the fans wouldn't like, right? Right. Be embarrassed, right? Right. Um, but so I tried for 20 years probably now, or a little less, to make another movie. And believe me, I've, I've developed a lot of stuff. <laughs> and one of them, the one that got the closest um, was just about five years ago was one I, I called Reanimator Unbound. And uh, after Frankenstein Unbound, right? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it would have been the same. <laughs> but it was like really crazy, really far out there. And it was about West having, for the first time in his life, having a, um, having a, um, all the money he ever needed because he's working for the Black Ops now. And he's making augmented soldiers in this, far off place in an underground lab and he built himself a hydrogen collider you know and of course things go wrong and um it was based on my original idea was to do a trilogy after beyond reanimator one would have been house of reanimator that stuart gordon was going to direct uh, which was reanimator in the white house nice. and i never could figure why we couldn't find it um, and then the second was going to be Reanimator Unbound, because after the White House, the Black Ops give Wes oodles of money to build this super lab to make, you know, these augmented soldiers um, that were controllable. And of course, he had his own experiment going on that takes us, that, that kind of um, rents the fabric of, of time space. So you kind of get more to a Lovecraftian thing. And then the third one was supposed to be called Reanimator Begins, which was that Wes is, um, is, ends up after Unbound, he's like in some foreign lunatic asylum, kind of lost his mind. And he gets sprung from there by this, this doctor who takes him back to Switzerland and turns out she's the granddaughter of dr gruber nice. she's got his notes and she wants to recreate them and Wes has to try to remember you know he's he's got amnesia so we basically are seeing the prequel to reality you know, awesome and that. but without being able to finance any of it the closest thing that right now i'm trying i'm i'm getting i'm negotiating with a company to do basically an adaptation you know more like the third one than the second one is huge, the unbound. The White House, I don't know, to a certain degree after Trump, I just don't know how you can do anything in the White House, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, but the um, and also I, I, I never, you know, it for me it was never a political thing. I think horror isn't really political or I, although you can read stuff in you can read cultural things into horror sci-fi can be really a political type movie but mm -hmm. horror to me is always it's um psychological it's um you know it's 
sex and death, you know, it's religious. It's, it's not about current affairs so much. Yeah. Um, but, um, but the unbound was just, is, I guess, too different, too big and too different. And now, so now I'm working on one that's more contained and back to Miskatonic University. Awesome. We'll see. We'll see. Awesome. Sounds promising. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I mean, it's all promising. Unless you have money, it's not promising. Yeah, true. <laughs> I mean, the last reanimator movie was released when I was born, so it's been long enough. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, all right, I'll let you